All right, so I've been in the Netherlands for close to three months now and I've made some kind of conclusions, my first impressions, uh, just observations about living in the Netherlands. And there are some that are very, very nice and some that are particularly annoying. And if you're going to move here, I think it's important that you're warned that this might happen to you. So the first pet peeve that I have about living here is bureaucracy. If you come from a country like Canada where you can solve any issue within 30 minutes of going to a governmental office, it's going to blow your mind how bureaucracy works in the Netherlands. You usually need a paper of a paper of a paper of a paper of a paper to get like a bank account. So basically to open a bank account you need like 50 papers or to register with the city which you, you must do when you move to the Netherlands. You need something that's called like a legalized birth certificate. So you can't just come with your regular translated birth certificate and register. You have to do a whole process that is called legalization. And if you're not familiar with this, uh, it's just you have to send it to like um, um, internal ministry in your country and they put a stamp on it and then the Dutch embassy puts a stamp on it and for every country there is a special procedure on how you do it and only then you can use that in the Netherlands and you can register it with the city. And why is it important to register with the city? Because they're going to give you something that's called your BSN number and BSN number allows you to open a bank account, apply for child benefit, pretty much to do anything, to receive your pay, you, you need a BSN number. So if you get tired just by listening to me talking about this endless, endless, endless bureaucracy loops, well, welcome to the Netherlands, because this is exactly how it is. It's been three months, I still don't have my visa, I still don't have my BSN number, there's a lot of different delays because of that, but this is what it is. It takes time and a lot of patience. And on the note of legalized birth certificate, guess what? In Canada, I managed to become a Canadian citizen without having a legalized birth certificate. They just took a translation. Oh no, I kid you not. It's true. I did become Canadian with less paperwork than it takes in the Netherlands to just register with the city. So yeah, if you're not a fan of paperwork, I am afraid to disappoint this country is not going to be a great fit because everything gets done very slowly and everything is very, very bureaucratic. You need a lot of paperwork, a lot of papers. I just feel like my head is just going to explode if I say papers one more time. So yeah, you get the gist. Uh, it is not easy. <laughs> Okay, my next pet peeve is that some Dutch supermarket, actually most Dutch supermarkets, take only the card from the Dutch bank account. So you can't pay, like, we can't come from Canada and pay with your Canadian credit card or debit card. You have to pay with a Dutch card, which is like if you listen to the previous part of the video that said there's a lot of paperwork and you, like me, are waiting for three months for your visa and can't open a bank account. Basically, you just have to take out money from the cash machine every time, pay huge fees and then pay with them in the groceries. There are some supermarkets, they do accept um, international credit cards and one of them is, for example, Little. So it's, the, here's a tip. If you're like me, stuck in this bureaucracy loop and you, like me, can't pay in the Dutch supermarket with your credit card, well, then you can go to places like Little. Uh, but yeah, there is these rules uh, which are quite surprising because that's not something you will ever see in North America is that they only accept uh, specific cards in specific stores. So mostly it's groceries and I've also seen some pharmacies as well. Yeah, so be aware of that and bring some cash because you're definitely gonna need it. The last thing that I'm trying to wrap my head around is kind of biking and both driving. So there's two things that I've noticed. First thing, if you are a pedestrian crossing the road, it's very r rarely that drivers would stop to let you through, which is something that's like, wow, for Canadian, because in Canada, you always stop if the pedestrian is crossing on a crosswalk. Like, it's like, it's out of normal not to let the pedestrian cross. But here I cross with a stroller with my daughter and almost never the car stop. I have no idea why. Maybe if you're a Dutch person and you're watching to this video, you can tell me like, what's up? I, I don't know what's happening there. And then the second point is with biking. Don't put your Dutch hate on me. I like biking, but I still haven't figured out how to bike in the rain because every single time it's raining, it's pouring rain, I come back just soaked wet. And even if I wear a long coat, 
my the bottom of my pants of my jeans is still fully wet so how do you do it how do you do it i don't know if you are a dutch person watching this and you know how to do this please let me know in the comments because a few times a week or at least once a week i am just drenched uh coming back biking in the rain coming back from my errands and biking in the rain so yeah please let me know in the comments below i i have no idea how you do it All right, we are going on with some good stuff. It's time for the good stuff. I promise there is good stuff as well. So the first one I want to say is that uh, Dutch people seem to be very respectful of animals and they just love their pets. They love their dogs. And when I say this, it's like, it's not that people don't love their animals in Canada. Like I feel like a lot of people own animals and they have dogs at home, but on, in the Netherlands it's on the whole other level because there is like spaces designed for dogs it's very easy to find a space to let your dog run off leash to let it have enough exercise in Canada people love dogs but like everything is restricted there's very little um, areas where you can have a dog park I, I barely have seen any in my time there so I feel like people love animals but the love is not manifested in just design of a city and just generally like yeah yeah I would say design of the city but then in the Netherlands it's a completely different story because in almost every park that where I've been there's like an area for the dogs to be off leash and people are just very friendly and very understanding and I really really like that attitude towards dogs like it happened to me a few times in Canada when people would like freak out if I walk early in the morning with my dog off leash and just what like say like leash your dog you're not allowed to have your dog off on off leash however people in the Netherlands are much more relaxed about this and I feel like it's a very like kind of fine balance because I have a dog and I'm not gonna lie that it's really nice to have that kind of friendliness towards animals in the place where you live another thing is that people are very friendly and uh, kind of social we live in a small city and I've kind of spoken to a lot of the neighbors on my street actually I've spoken to more neighbors on this street than I've spoken in Canada in in three years like we had a house and we had a neighbor it was a semi-detached house so you have a neighbor on one side and like I barely knew him I barely knew his kids like people just don't talk to each other the way people do in Europe and I know this already because I grew up in Europe but you forget with time so I really appreciate that kind of neighborliness and kind of friendliness and social thing and another funny thing that I also found in the Netherlands is that the neighbor can accept your package so if you live um, in a detached house uh, you can accept the package for your neighbor if they are not at home and then the neighbor can pick it up from you but I've never seen it anywhere that would never happen in Canada uh, so yeah on the other hand I don't think people will be easily your friends I think people are friendly but they won't be your friends if you don't speak Dutch I think language is a big barrier here and it will be unless you don't speak Dutch so my plan is to learn it The last kind of pleasant surprise that I want to mention is farmers market. We have we do have them in Canada, but it's not a place where you usually find um, like good deals. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But I feel like in the Netherlands, it's like in a way a small celebration of the culture. Every time you go there, there is like Greek things that I find, and then there is like um, different nuts and seeds and local vegetables and farmers. It's like a special event every week for me. So I really appreciate that energy about Dutch markets. And if you have a farmer's market in your area, I definitely recommend going there. And also you can save a lot of money by shopping there. All right, I think that's um, all I had for today. So some unpleasant, uncomfortable things, uh, three of them, and then three very nice things. There's probably more observations that's gonna come my way uh, while I am still getting used to the Netherlands, but um, that's it for today. And thank you for sticking with me. Uh, if you have any specific questions or any video requests, please let me know in the comments below. And I really enjoyed hanging out with you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.